Good morning, everyone. Myself, Murli Reddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about how to configure the Nexus in Jenkins. Okay. So we did manually, right? Inside the palm.xml, we kept uh, Nexus related uh, distribution management, the artifact details, everything we kept and we used MVN deploy and uh, we push our artifacts in Nexus, right? Same thing, instead of doing manually, how can configure inside the Jenkins? We will see the demo, okay? For that one, uh, I have already installed the Nexus. It is up and running. I have a login with my admin credentials, okay? And uh, we require, we have to install few prerequisites plugins. One is git install and maven is plugin is installed. If you remember, we have already installed the maven plugin and also we have configured inside the global tool configuration, right? And the next one is we have to install the Nexus plugin. This particular Nexus plugin, we, 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 can, we can configure that Nexus configuration, okay? And also one more thing here, we have a repository. The repository name is Nexus I can integrate with Jenkins. Using this repository, we can configure inside the Jenkins and create the job, okay? Fine. Now I'm going to install the plugin. The plugin name is Nexus Platform Plugin. Go to the Manage Jenkins. Go to the Manage Plugin. Here, first I'm checking the install session. Nexus. If you observe here, Nexus related, we don't have any plugin installed already. Go to the available. Now I'm installing the Nexus plugin. Remember here, when you type the Nexus, we have two uh, two plugins is most popular. One is Nexus Artifact Uploader. Second one is second one is Nexus Platform. In our course, we are going to use Nexus Platform. Select this one, install without restart. Okay. It may take a little bit time to install your uh, plugin. Okay. It may take a little bit time to install our plugin. If you see here, the plugin is installed. Now I'm going to the Manage Jenkins. I'm going to configure that uh, plugin. Okay. Go to the Manage Jenkins. Go to the Configure System. Inside this particular Configure System, we have to configure the Nexus uh, related uh, server details, authentication details. Okay. Come down here. Type it Nexus. If you observe here, Sonotype Nexus is there. Why it is coming Sonotype? Because it is uh, developed with Sonotype team. That is the reason it is coming. Okay. Here we have a Add Nexus. Here we, we need to select uh, Nexus 2 or Nexus 3. If you remember, our Nexus is 3, right? 3 version. That's why we have to choose the Nexus 3. And here you can give any name. It will be display the name when you are set up inside the Jenkins job configuration. It will be display. Okay. What I'm doing here, I'm giving the Nexus FM3. So display name and also ID also I'm giving same only. Here URL you have to provide. What is the URL? We have already installed it. This is the URL we have to provide inside this particular configuration. Okay. Remove the slash. And here we have to provide the credentials. What credentials we have to provide? We have to provide the Nexus credentials. Okay. I'm going to add it. Add create a Jenkins. Remember, currently I'm going to add my credentials, but in real time we won't uh, define our credentials. We will be create the service account. The reason is, for example, if I def define my credentials, if I left from the particular organization, what will happen? My mail ID will be blocked, right? If it will be blocked, inside the Jenkins jobs, everything will be broken, right? That is the reason we want to define, we won't declare our personal uh, mail IDs, okay? We will be create a separate account or separate mail ID. We can call it as a service account. Then we can configure. But our practice purpose, I'm going to declare directly, okay? Username with password. Here, username I'm giving admin. The password also admin, okay? Then here ID you have, I'm giving ID name is Nexus uh, username, okay, password, okay. Then copy this one, paste here. Description also I'm giving same and add it. Now if you see here, here you are able to see that particular whatever we added the Nexus related, okay. Uh, click select that particular credentials. And now we can test whether you, whatever you provide the details, whether correct or not, you can test the connection, okay. Test connection, if you observe here, it is working fine. Connection succeed, but we are getting some issue. It may be uh, break your Jenkins, uh, uh, the particular Jenkins job will, will be fail. Okay. So no issues on that. We can save it, apply and save it. Okay. Fine. Next one, I'm going to create the job. Okay. The job name I'm going to give Nexus project. Okay. Nexus project. Inside the Nexus project, we will be configured step by step process. Crystal uh, project selected. Okay. Now, first we have to declare the cloning repository, right? Here we have a source code management. I am selecting this git and I am giving here 
source code management url this is the url right copy this i kept in public okay you can also use this repository and you can uh, practice yourself i have given here and here credentials see remember it is pro public so we don't require to set the credentials in case if it is a private repository we should be set the credential but remember in real time we will be keep all the repositories private only we won't keep in public but our practice purpose are, we are keeping the, uh, the repositories in public okay fine next one which branch the branch is master only right you have to de define which branch we are going to clone it okay the master branch only next one come down uh, here i'm adding this uh, add timestamp to the console output what are the uses of this one inside the logs you can able to see the when the particular job is uh, running you can see the timestamp okay now in build session add build now here you can option invoke top level maven targets click this one now here you have to select the particular version if you remember inside the global tool configuration in earlier video we set up right that name three maven icon 3.8.6 we have selected goals you have to define the goals here clean and i'm using the depth the reason is you want you, you want to push your artifacts in access right that's why we have to give the deploy remember you don't want to give the mvn command the reason is inbuilt it is already there you don't want to provide in case if you provide mvn here what will happen it will be throw the error okay build will be failed okay now come down add build step now here you can select here where you can select nexus artifact uploader okay give me one second yeah if you see here nexus repository manager publisher select this one okay here instance name earlier when you set up inside the config system we have given the name right the name is we have given nexus iphone 3 right that name we can able to see view here and coming to the repository repository default we have a few repositories right go to settings if you go to the repositories we have a maven release and maven snapshot right those repositories you can able to view here okay maven snapshot and maven release in case if you have already created some other a customized one okay those things also you can able to view here but currently we have only two maven fn snapshot it is showing maven fn releases i'm selecting the maven fn snapshot the reason is my, our project is snapshot project right that's why okay how do we identify whether it is snapshot or not go to the pomerate xml here you can see we are using on dot zero iphone snapshot okay what is that no tag not record you can leave it and add package maven package here you have to provide the group id artifact id version and what the package in whether jar file or file you have to provide here okay what i'm doing here uh here inside the pom dot xml i'm taking the group id group id what is the group id com dot tech world with murli okay i'm giving here and what about the artifact id artifact id is web by phone application okay artifact id is web by phone application next version is what is the version version we have given right one dot zero iphone snapshot give it here and next one package which uh, which one it will be generated it will be generated war file right if you see here it will be generated war file i'm giving the war okay next one here add path artifact path you have to declare where this uh, uh, war file will be stored okay you have to store give that particular path currently i'm not giving and i will build that job let's see what will happen i'm canceling this one and just apply save it okay now build now what will happen first it will clone the repository then it will be build the code then it will be push that particular artifacts in nexus because we already given the authentication details if you are doing first time it will be download everything from the uh, central repository that's why it may take a little bit time if you observe here it is downloading the particular snapshot we have given but remember we have given here right if you see this this ip sorry what are the 3.0 right this particular nexus ip 3.0 right but it is taking different ip the reason is inside the form.xml i already earlier i have defined the another ip address but we need we need to update the particular current what is the current ip address of nexus this is ip right i'm copying this and come down here i'm copying this ip address and i will update here okay uh job okay and the audience, we can do one thing uh, here repository select the snapshot repository and you can copy this uh, url i copied this the particular url and i am going to paste here okay edit you have to update if you remember in manual we did right uh, inside form.xml we have defined uh, uh, distribution management same thing we have to define here also okay 
same thing snapshot is done now i'm going to update the release url also i'm copying this fine yeah i have pasted here fine now i'm going to update this file Commit changes remember in your case you have to update your different ip address because uh, your ip is different right you have to update when you are doing this uh, session okay now what i'm doing here i'm going to cancel this one because it will keep on taking it will take more time it is trying to authenticate but uh, that url is not there right that is the reason okay now again i'm click that build now let's see the second build is going to run this time it will take a little bit uh, less time because it is already all the uh, packages downloaded from central repository. Those uh, central repository packages it is already available in this particular server. It will be stored in cache. That's why it is it won't be downloaded again and again. Okay. Now if you see here, we are getting the 401 error. We are getting 401 error. Remember, here even we are providing the Nexus authentication details correctly, still we are getting the 401. 401 error only. Might be there is some issue in between Nexus and Jenkins. That is the reason we are getting the issue. Okay. But the main intention is how do we set up? You understand that this is a process of we can set up the Nexus from yeah, next. Uh, we can declare the particular Nexus inside the Jenkins. We can generate a war file or tar file. I mean, zip file. We can paste to, I mean, it will upload to. Nexus, okay, but it is trying to upload the Nexus, but the problem is it is throwing the 401 unauthorized. Okay, even I have provided the credentials. I tried multiple ways, different uh, credentials I have provided, but still we are getting the same issue. I believe some issue between this particular Jenkins current version and uh, Nexus current version. Okay, might be the problem. Okay, you can try with the different versions. You can try. Let's see if it is working well and good. Okay, in case if it is not working, no worries you got idea right how you can uh, set up that nexus configuration okay first you have to understand you have to get idea whether uh, how the process will be work okay if you understand the process well and good okay even some of the cases you might not be get uh, proper output nothing to worry okay when go to the inside uh, in uh, real time you can set up easily it won't be an issue. Sometimes so what will happen? We are using uh, open source, right? Open source also some of the use cases may not work properly. Okay. But, right? but the main intention again, I'm telling the process of setup in Nexus inside the Jenkins. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to comment. Thanks for watching this video. We will see you next video.